Hey there guys, what's up? It's Crashmaster, and guys, you can probably tell by the video that today we are going on YouTube, and for one reason only, to check out another trailer, baby, and that's what I'm talking about, guys. Today, we are not taking out a gaming trailer, um, this time, just like we did with, uh, unfortunately, this time we're not doing a console or a game, this time we are actually gonna be doing a movie. That's right, guys, today we are gonna be doing the Cars 3 movie, and, okay, that's weird. I think my cousin, I think my little cousin was actually watching this. He watches Stampy also, just like I do. Yeah, so, wait, let me switch to the letters. Yeah, so as you can see, we're going on YouTube on my Xbox One. And guys, today, you can probably already tell by it, we are checking out the Cars 3 trailer today, guys. And I know Cars is kind of like a kitty movie. Like, um, like, I know, like, basically what I've heard, as you can see, there's quite a lot of trailers, actually, in different versions of it. Um, we're gonna check out the main trailer today, actually, guys. But, guys, basically, this is the deal. Um, Cars 1 was one of the greatest movies of all time, at least in this time. Whoa, this guy's got, like, almost a thousand views for some reason. I, I, well, I'm gonna watch his trailer, just because the other ones look a little, like, sh like, I'm a little bit shorter, and his seems like the longest, so hopefully that'll give us a little bit more. Um, but yeah, guys, um, well, it looks like we just might be by film trailer zone 1000 view if it counts on Xbox. Um, yeah, guys, basically, Cars 1 was one of the best movies of all time. I personally loved it. Cars 2, I think a lot of people, like, liked it in the sense, like, of, like, the cars and the mechanics, like, all the, like, the flying jetpack cars and everything like that. Um, but, like, in terms of it, it was supposed to be about racing, like, the first movie, but it's more like a James Bond kind of style, I guess you could say. Like, in, like, it was placed in, like, other, like, it had the World Grand Prix setting, like, from Japan to London to Tokyo and all that. But, other than that, you barely saw any racing at all. All you saw was a bunch of explosions. So, that, if you like spy movies, I recommend go watching Cars 2. If you like a good racing movie, go watch Cars 1 and this summer's Cars 3. Alright guys, without further ado, let's check out the fourth trailer. So yeah, I'm not going to go through every trailer because there's like a lot of fake ones, a lot of versions. This is the trailer I'm going to be talking about today guys, so here we go. Alright, let's start. You are about to become the biggest brand in racing. Movie deals, infomercials, product endorsements. You think you're famous now? <laughs> we'll be rich beyond belief. Mr. Sterling, what is this about? Your legacy. Every time you lose, you damage yourself. I'm sorry. Your racing days are coming to an end. We can only hope that this race today wasn't his last. I decide when I'm done. How you feeling? I can't go out on the track and do the same old thing. It won't work. It's futile to resist change, man. You know what I do? What? I don't know. I got nothing. I am so excited to train you. I like a challenge. <laughs> I call you my senior project. On your mark, get set, and go! Whoa, 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 whoa! The beach ate me. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> oh god, what? I'm sorry, guys. This. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna continue really quick. Okay, okay. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Um, the thing I'm doing right now, I'm gonna show you guys the trailer right now. I'm showing you guys the trailer without talking. Then I'm doing like the review when I'm doing it the second time. I'm sorry, guys. She said the beach ate me. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. It just did. All right, all right. Let me continue really quick. I'm sorry. Set a new record today when he pulled off the fastest lap ever recorded. How you feeling? Have you seen the latest record Storm's been setting? Have you given any thought to retire? McQueen, over here. This is my last chance, Cruz. Last. If I lose, I never get to do this again. Don't fear failure. Be afraid of not having the chance. You have the chance. I used to watch you on TV, flying through the air. You seemed so fearless. I wish I knew what that felt like. You'll never be as fast as Storm, but you can be smarter than him. The racing is the reward, not the stuff. Storm's chances of winning are 95.2%. Go, 
Alright guys, well that was the trailer right there. Now I'm gonna give you my review this time. I'm sorry I had to pause right there. She just said, the beach ate me. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. I have no idea why. Alright, so yeah, that, yeah guys, I will be seeing this. This comes out in like, let me see what today's date is exactly. Um, Alright, let me see really quick. Um, On my phone. It's, uh, it's, today's April 26th when I'm recording this, which is on a Wednesday. I'm actually, up, which I'm actually pre-recording the other videos. So, yeah, I'm doing this around, like, um, afternoon, pretty much. So, let's see, uh, that's in about, um, that's in a, that's literally in less than, let me see, April, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, wait, wait, I'm sorry, guys, I'm trying to work this out. January, February, March, April, today's April, and May, so... In less than two months, like, I think that's, like, in about a month and a half, correct me if I'm wrong, about, a, like, a less than two months, for sure, I know, so less than I'm two months. Okay, wait, I don't want to start all the way there, so I'm going to pause every now and then and tell you guys what I think of it. I've seen the other trailers, by the way, but they're not as much as detail as this, because I got, I got, actually got an email from a friend that they actually said this is probably the most detailed, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do a video on this. Alright, so my prediction right now, we've seen a few times of this. This looks like, I'm getting a guess right now, it's probably one of the, I'm guessing it's probably one of the, like the racetracks from the way it looks, from the, like, you can see the, actually the stadium of people. Because I know some of these places now are actually based off of, ro like, actual, like, things, like, actual tracks in real life. That I know. Because if you guys saw my, my Forza Motorsport 6 gameplay a while back, I only did, like, one video of it. I think I'll try a different kind of Forza game, Forza Horizons 3. J a little spoiler right there for what's coming to the channel. Because um, I really absolutely love Forza. A few of my friends actually love Forza 2, so I'm going to bring that back to the channel. And I'm a race car driver, so it would make s more sense for me to actually play it. So, yeah. Sorry, getting a little off topic. Let's keep going. We're about to become the biggest brand in racing. All right, we see lightning racing again. Movie deals, infomercials. Product. All right, so as we see right there, you can see like the Lightning McQueen grill right there. You can see. Um, Legacy. Wait, wait, wait. For some reason, I think my headset's a little bit lower. For some reason, I'm not sure. Your racing days. Okay, um, let's go a little bit back. I kind of skipped a little bit, I think, by accident. All right. Um, wait, what's going on? Okay, there we go. So yeah, he's trying to cheer him up, I guess. Beyond belief. Mr. Sterling, what is? this about all right so you can see all the light mcqueen merch i'm sorry i guess my pause was a little um slurry apparently but um here we go um right there if you guys don't know jackson storm the main antagonist right there he's in the first place you probably saw his face already these are all by the way electric motor cars basically i know a little bit about cars three really quick so i'm gonna put down my controller really quick I'll tell you guys about it basically it's like this he's basically He's now basically the veteran, basically, of, like, his, of, of, like, the movies now. Like, he's not old. Um, this is actually coming from the director of the film and everything that's going on right now. He's not old, but he's a veteran, basically. Like, the, like, there's the new generation of cars and everything. Like, there's electric cars. Basically, Lightning McQueen is a stock car, and these guys are all electric cars. So, we all know electric cars are faster than regular cars, so that's why Lightning McQueen is apparently losing a couple of races. Like, I'm guessing he came in second a, a few times but looks like now lightning's o old age is apparently catching up with him your legacy every time you lose here's the part that got to me image yourself he damages himself so yeah look right there on the left of his eyes you can see he has his face and this is the part that got to me like in one of the other trailers or clips actually i think it was more of a clip i saw on youtube Right there, see, you can see the sparks flying off his body. And this is technically the first time we see him in a crash, him in a crash. Like, in Cars 1, like, I mean, he didn't get into a crash. He was like, he lost both of his tires in the back. And, I mean, um, yeah, every now and then he bumped in, like, Chick hit and, like, um, the king and everything. Cars 2, we, st we saw other cars crash, but not as bad as it makes it look in this one. Look, guys, he literally goes flying through the air with, like, both of his, like, his undercarriage burnt up. Who does that? This is, I thought this was supposed to be a kid's movie. I'm sorry. You can look, and look, right here, here's the part. You can see, like, well, well, let me go a little bit really quick. Oh, uh, I mean, okay, it's not going to show it, so let me go a little bit back, like, by three seconds. You lose. Okay, it goes by ten seconds, apparently. So right there, he's skidding because, uh, the thing is, if you can't see it, 
his left, I mean, wait, no, his right rear tire has blown out, sort of like similar to the first and first Cars movie where he blew like both his tires out. Here's the question I have: Why in the first movie he lost one of his tires? He like um he basically got like he was able to like drift a little bit and save himself, and then he lost set both his tires and he completely like started going really slow. How come this time he didn't drift? That's my question right there. Yeah, so we see like his old undercarriage is burnt up right here. So it looks like his design is a little bit changed. He's got like a big rusties right next to the, like on the right of the five. Um, on the left, his hood looks like it's smoking. And it looks like the, I'm not even sure what it's called. It's like the thing in the back of the car basically right there. Like it, the rusties, like right there. If you look on the rusties on the right of the five, look above it and like to the right a little bit. You see he has like a rusty sting. I'm not sure. I think it's called like the tail fin or is that on a boat or something i'm not sure i can't remember it's like the tail thing in the back of the car that i really really like those for some reason but it looks like he got into such a bad crash it looks like the thing literally tore off days are coming to an end and this, well yeah that i'm not sure who that is at all from the way it sounds like it sounds like he's basically telling mcqueen that his racing days are over you damage yourself he damages himself I'm sorry. Your racing days are coming to an end. Yeah, guys. So basically, uh, from the way he makes it sound, it sounds like McQueen's been in so many more races. Um, like in between Cars Two, like well after the events of the Grand Prix of Cars Two, it sounds like he's been after like Jackson Storm and all these guys came. It sounds like he's been getting into so many crashes lately that well, this happens. This is definitely not a kids movie anymore i'm gonna go right there and show you guys again you know what? i'm gonna show you guys again how do, why did they think this is a kid sh this is gonna be at least pg-13 or at least 10 years old and older that i'm pretty sure 10 years old i was 10 years old i would understand all this because look you can literally see you get into so many crashes that he's literally like flipping over everything's happening so fast yikes i was like really freaking out right there right there look at this Paramedics and everything like the car is probably all past the finish line and everything or the race maybe stopped You can see like I'm not sure if that's Sally and maybe that's some of like McQueen's pit crew It looks like his hoods all like kind of smoking or maybe that's just like the dust from his crash or whatever It looks like his front hood looks like a little bit bent or that could be just afterburn smoke Looks like he's skidded to a halt and looks like paramedics and everybody are coming I decide when I'm done how you feeling? Okay, right there. That's the thing I actually just noticed really quick right there. It actually looks like he's in a body cast when she when Sally, that's actually McQueen's girlfriend if you don't know, the blue car. That looks like um that looks like he's in a cast. Let me try to pause it in a good moment. How you feeling? Right there, see? You can tell that that he's prop that she's probably talking to McQueen. I can't make sure of like the detail of the car or anything, but it looks like it's most likely she's talking to McQueen and you can tell that he's white. My guess that's either a body cast or like a bunch of like maybe wraps around him i'm pretty sure a car can't bleed because well 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 we've seen them smoke we've seen their hoods get bent and everything because this is like in a world where cars are the guys like well actual real people but uh, yeah that kind of more looks like a body cast to me just because of the way it looks if you do i'm pretty sure if you do like frame by frame in each one of these you'll probably discover something but nope, I'm just doing the actual my theory basically. So yeah, my theory right now looks like he's in a full body cast. Which how would you make that for a car? Actually, that's probably gonna be pretty co like complex and confusing. I can't. All right, so right here, this is actually confirmed. We're gonna see a few flashbacks of Doc Hudson and um and another car. I don't know if it's like his mentor or it's his friend or something. Another car I don't know the name of. But well, it looks like we're going back to where Doc Hudson used to race from the way everything looks. So go out on the track and do the same old thing. It won't work. So by that line, it sounds like well, we're going back to Radio Springs. Um, by the way, like Flo's Cafe and a uh, Coast to Coast Motel over there. It looks like he's um, looks like um, McQueen might be staying and Max leaving, at, or maybe McQueen's leaving again to go to another race or something. It's really really hard to tell. But right there, that line, he's probably going to be thinking of some new strategies, which actually in a few trailers that I've seen really quick, um, well, well, I've seen for the past few days or weeks, it sounds like he might be m maybe making up some, like, new strategies. I mean, you can, it's a car. You can do anything with a car, practically, if you can do it. Alright, like, 
Um, like, my favorite thing about a car is just drifting. Like, I absolutely love to drift. I don't know why. I just do. Futile to resist change, man. You know what I do? What? All right. See, to, mm, see him talking know. to Mater. I got nothing. All right. One last Please. chance. This could mean that if McQueen gets into one more accident, he could... Well, you guys know what I mean. He could... He, he, I guess he just dies, pretty much. I guess he just goes to the grave beyond. I mean, for the way those crashes look, I'm surprised how that even would work in real life. Would the driver be messed up or the car at the same time? But in this, the car is actually the person, actually. How would that work? Like, instead of, like, your front hood, would it be, like, your chest or arm or something? Or your f front forehead or something? It's really hard, but if I was that, if I was McQueen, I'm pretty sure I would have not survived that. So excited. So right here, we have the Rusty's Racing Center. It looks like, from the way I predicted, it looks like it might be coming true. It looks like he's going to a racing center, which I'm guessing is sponsored by Rusty's, which are actually the guys who sponsor McQueen. Um, it looks like they own a company now, so I'm guessing that he's going to their racing center, the name actually. Maybe he's going to work on some new strategies, as I'm saying. And now we get introduced to the new and improved, well, not improved, she's actually a new character, Cruz Ramirez, which is actually the yellow car right here. I see in a few trailers. She's actually, uh, it's hard to tell. I know she's a Spanish car. I don't know if she's like Mexican or Hispanic or anything. All I know is she is a female Hispanic car. She's kind of, she's kind of going to be like the new mentor for McQueen. She's the new generation, just like Stack Jackson Storm. She's not a stock car, even though she's kind of based off of it. She's the new generation car. And not to mention she's, uh, well, you can probably tell by the way she looks, kind of. Like, the way, I'm pretty sure if you go into, like, detail, like, if they have it on a website or something, you can actually find out. <laughs> I, I call you my senior project. Okay, uh, that sounds like, uh, yep, yeah, we all can confirm that McQueen is kind of getting old now. Senior project. He's not an old man, he's a veteran, God. Alright, one more dream. On your mark. Get set, go. Here's my favorite part. Huh? Alright, so here's the weird part that I don't understand. How is she going to teach McQueen to drive if she can't even, like, drive on sand or drift? Seriously. And this is my favorite part right now. The beach ate me. <laughs> the beach ate me. And with her voice like that, it's like, it's like, mm, the beach ate me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, I don't know why that cracks me out. I don't know why that cracks me up. Alright, as you can see right there, that's what Jackson Storm actually looks like. He's a black and blue car. He's really fast. He's the new generation by the screen. Well, if you look on the bottom left right there, with like another one right there. Next generation, exactly. He has a number with 2.0 in it, which... Well, well, you say 2.0 or like 3.0 or 2.5. You know what I mean? It's like the new and improved version pretty much. So yeah, it sound, from the way the announcement sounded right there, it looks like Storm is setting a lot of new records apparently. This summer. Have you seen the latest record Storm's been setting? Have you given any thought to retire? Over here? Okay, right there. It looks like he's watching it on TV as he's actually breaking records. All the reporters are shouting like, Are you thinking about retiring? Will you quit on? Uh, have you seen all those stuff that Jackson Storm and the new generation has been up to? It sounds like everybody's getting to him and telling him to retire. Um, it's it's like, I'm guessing it's one of those like movies, kind of like, um, the, like um, I don't know. I've never really seen a movie like this, like someone gets old and they actually do it that's like this is probably gonna be like the closest they'll ever get to that kind of movie where it's like you're getting old and now people are better than you and now you're trying to keep up it's not over my last chance Cruz. last if i okay lose, i never okay let's go a little bit back really quick seeing the latest record storms been set. okay right there okay this is my last chance okay wait i want to pause right here it is confirmed. Well, I th I think that's Lightning McQueen right there. But it looks like he, it looks like Cruz and him are having a little bit of difficulty, right here. They are actually, of course, going to be in a demolition derby. You might have seen that in a lot of trailers about a lot of people and a lot of like the fire and everything and the way it looks. They are in a. I'm not sure how exactly this is going to help McQueen you know develop new techniques or whatever maybe he has to get used to the dirt again even though they do technically race on roads or whatever maybe those help him teach him to drift better to like prevent another accident 
Who knows? All we know, this is probably going to be some kind of training mon montage, but it looks like Cruz right there is getting a little stuck. If I lose, I never get to do this again. Okay, looks like, well, if you just saw it right there, looks like McQueen's top speed right there was 196 miles. And when you put your, when you think about that, and he's, and Jackson Storm's faster than that, you got to at least say Jackson's got to be over 200 miles by then. All right, until lightning strikes. <laughs> Don't fear failure. Okay, from the way this looks, it looks like, I'm guessing this is probably the Rusty's Racing Center. Maybe this is kind of like some kind of Hall of Fame, maybe for like retired cars. Because I'm pretty sure like in real life, like they usually have like a souvenir or something like a number or like um, a giant like like momentum momentum of them kind of in a way. Because you could pr pretty much tell that this might be a Hall of Fame from that huge number 95 right there. Be afraid of not having the chance. You have the chance. All right, he's traveling a lot more, racing on the beach. Through the air. We got a little bit of clip from Cars 1 right there. I wish I knew what that felt like. Okay, so it looks like it looks like his left rear tire is out again, which I don't understand how. I think McQueen needs some new tires. Or new rims or something, because right now his tires are failing him like all around. Again, um, well I can't see the the front right tire, but I'm guessing that's probably still intact. The left, r the front left, and maybe right tire. Um, I'm just gonna say it. left and front right tire seem to be intact. Right, I can't confirm, but I'm guessing the left, um, the left rear tire apparently is broken again, and the right rear tire is not broken yet. I'm guessing it might be again, because it looks like McQueen's tires. Are just failing him all the time so yeah right here looks like he's still in the demolition derby some kids shouting lightning probably like I don't know maybe there's gonna be like a cheer for lightning and maybe he will win maybe he'll lose but come in second who knows it's hard to tell with all like the little information we can get but um, we'll know soon enough in a couple months right right here we're getting a scene right there it looks like we got Jackson Storm right there or at least a car oh no no that looked like Jackson Storm this is Jackson Storm all right that looks like a guy that um, looks like he's um I don't know who he is at all uh, it looks like he's gonna help McQueen also because it sounds like he's saying you'll never be as fast as Storm but you could be smarter That's the storm. You yeah see right there see how easily he passes McQueen out of nowhere that you could tell is actual like speed if wait like. what's faster guys thunder or lightning it's actually no i think it's lightning i think it's lightning because thunder comes first then lightning goes after all right like right there you can instantly you see he's faster than story. mcqueen but you can be smarter you can see you. mcqueen's a little bit surprised and um you see a few other of the back cars right there some of them look like they're around like McQueen's modern age, a little bit older, maybe a little bit around the same. We see some uh, electric cars, um, basically electro. Um, I don't know what the term is. I'm just gonna say electric cars, basically, because uh, McQueen's a stock car, and these guys, including Jackson, are electric cars based, basically. So yeah, we see. It looks like for from the way it looks, it looks like Jackson is the only car by far that's beaten McQueen like so many times. Because, like, right now, I, I can point out at least the white and black one, the blue one, and the green one behind him all seem to be around the same type as Jackson Storm. But other than that, it looks like McQueen's always beating everybody else except for Storm. All right, we got a few little bit of clips from the Demolition Derby. As you can see, there's, there's exploding tires and fire or anything. This is a movie that you should not show anybody under at least 13 or at least 10. I think 10 under is probably not going to be allowed in this movie. Unless they're pretty, like, good. Alright? Looks like they're doing... I don't even know what these guys are. These are, like, the weird little, like... Um, I don't even know what they sound like. They kind of sound like um, a cow. I think it's, like, one of those things, like, cow tipping. Um, like, on farms. Like, they tip a cow, actually. I'm guessing these are kind of, like, the things. Like, tractors. They were always in Cars 1 and Mater. And, like, McQueen got chased by, like, a giant bull version of it. It was, like, really, really cool. Trust me. If you guys love racing, go see Cars 1 and see Cars 3. It looks like they're it looks like um they're going back to Radio Springs maybe at least these are the only places that we see the tractor things. The looks like oh finally finally if you saw right there finally we get to see McQueen actually drifting. Looks like Cruz is helping McQueen get back in the race again. We see it oh okay right there right there I saw something interesting I didn't even see the first time. Looks like McQueen is catching up racing for the way it looks right there. Wait okay so wait gotta pause. I'm trying to pause at the exact moment. Sorry, it's a little bit annoying. Right there. If you see right there, looks like Storm's being all confident and everything. 
But maybe, I'm not sure. I'm predicting that maybe Storm is just going to be like so fast. And maybe Queen has a new strategy for beating him. Or Storm's going to get so cocky at a time, like from all the winning, that he's going to start like not even trying as much. And then McQueen's just going to finish him right at the end. Because as you see right there, McQueen's kind of catching up to him, just maybe. Okay, that's an interesting thing right there too, also. There's just so much interesting stuff that's like bringing me back to Cars 1 a lot. Alright, uh, I'm sorry I kind of like went back a little bit too far, I think. Alright, let's see, right there. Wait, right here, as you can see, Donegal is actually going to be coming back also. I haven't seen the King. If you don't know who the King is, he's the blue car from Cars 1. You'll probably hear his name a few times, Mr. The King. Basically, he's the blue car. I haven't seen him in a while. I bet he might be back for maybe like a like once on a co like maybe it's on, gonna be like on the big screen like chick right now because chick hit it looks like he's coming back up i'm my guess is that maybe he's gonna be like well it looks like from the way that jackson and him are getting along from the way it looks it looks like that i'm guessing since like chick doesn't really dislikes mcqueen for like you know like um everybody like booing for him it's like the final race in cars one um, it looks like Jackson and Chick Hit seem to be getting along, so I'm guessing, well, Jackson is the main antagonist. Don't know if Chick is gonna, like, be in these many shots, but I have seen him a couple times in trailers, actually. So it looks like Chick is gonna be back, probably, like, disliking McQueen as usual, just wanted to point that out really quick. Looks like, um, a few of these clips, looks like it's just him racing and getting, uh, like, around the track. Wait, is there a little bit more, like, uh, another scene? Or, nope, it's just, uh, it's just the ending, I'm guessing, of, like, the little, of, like, the thing at the end. Alright, guys, so, yeah, that's about it from, oh, wait, I want to just get that as, like, a little, like, ending kind of thing right there. So, yeah, um, just ignore this part really quick. So, yeah, guys, that seems, it looks like McQueen, it looks like McQueen is starting to get pretty old. Looks like the new generation is going to be quite a competition. But from the way it looks, it looks like McQueen's going to get all the help he can get, and maybe, just maybe beat Jackson Storm. Who knows? It's really hard to tell. Maybe there'll be like a sequel plan out for like, like maybe Cruz Ramirez. Maybe. It's hard to tell. I know nothing about the movie at all. Um, this is just basically my breakdown analysis of it. What I think of it. As you can see, the film's not rated anywhere at all yet because it just came out this year. But anyways guys, hopefully you all enjoyed this breakdown analysis just like you enjoyed the, um, the Nintendo Switch I did a, a while back actually. But for now, that's going to be my last breakdown analysis for now. Um, I don't really think I have that many. It's not gonna probably be like a series unless I put it all like in a playlist. I'm gonna do do things like for like a new game or anything like that. But that's enough for now. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video because I have been recording a lot today on Wednesday, and I will see you all in the next well general video or breakdown video, whatever I have planned next. Later, guys.